While psychological and scientific experiments have helped humans understand countless things, the thirst for knowledge that some experimenters have can lead to the tests going too far and oftentimes this results in someone or something being permanently damaged. Some of these experiments are also recorded and documented, allowing the general public to get a glimpse into the horrifying atrocities being committed. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So here are seven terrifying experiments caught on tape. Number one, the Milgram experiment. In 1961, psychologist Stanley Milgram devised a study to answer a popular question at the time. Were the Nazi soldiers in World War II truly evil people or were they just following orders? To answer this question, Milgram set up an experiment that involved three participants, the experimenter, the teacher, and the learner. In the experiment, the teacher would ask the learner a number of questions. If the learner did not know the answer to these questions, the teacher would shock the learner. These shocks got gradually worse and worse, until eventually they administered a lethal dose of electricity to the other person. While the teacher could not see the learner, they could hear them begging for their lives, but every time the learner would object to shocking the other person, the experimenter would tell them to keep going. While they expected only around 3% of people to give the lethal amount of electricity to the learner, the result was far from that. 65% of the participants gave a lethal amount of electricity to the subject when asked to do so. The experiment didn't answer Milgram's original question completely because of the different circumstances this experiment possessed, but it did show the ramifications of too much power and the terrible things most humans could be convinced to do when that power is abused. Unwrap 50 volts. Answer, horse. Oh. Experiment, that's all. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. Continue, please. Go right on. I refuse to go on. Let me out. You refuse to go on. The experiment requires you continue, teacher. Please continue. Participants didn't know that the learner was really an actor, and the so-called shocks harmless. You're going to get a shock. 180 volts. I'm not going to kill that man in there. I mean, who's going to take the responsibility if anything happens to that gentleman? I'm responsible for anything that happens here. Continue, please. Number two, the Demikhov experiments. Vladimir Demikhov was a Soviet scientist who is considered to be a medical revolutionary who was hugely important to the advancement of modern medicine. He was responsible for the first ever liver and lung transplant and had a substantial amount of achievements to his name. Unfortunately, Demikhov's methods were very unconventional and oftentimes cruel. One of his most infamous experiments occurred when Demikhov performed a head transplant on a dog and successfully reattached his head onto another dog. He was advised to stop experimenting on animals but did not listen and ended up being shunned from the world of medicine. Number 3. Willowbrook State School Experiment Willowbrook State School was an educational institution in New York that taught intellectually disabled children. Although it may have been founded with good intentions, those intentions were quickly thrown out the window and the school made one controversial decision after another, from overcrowding to general mistreatment of the students. However, the most controversial action came in the late 1950s when hepatitis outbreaks became common in the school. Instead of treating the children or making them comfortable, they were used as pawns in a twisted medical experiment that was done to study the effects of hepatitis. However, it wasn't just infected children who were harmed or treated poorly. In one incident, medical researcher Saul Krugman actually infected six healthy children with hepatitis and studied the results. The side effects were devastating. Vomiting, diarrhea, and loss of appetite were par for the course, and the conditions in the actual school were nowhere near suited to handle thousands of sick children. Oftentimes, they would sit on the floors of small rooms and be given no personal space. The experiments ended in the 1970s and the school closed in 1987. The experiments were later called the most unethical medical experiments ever performed on children in the United States. Number 4. Edgewood Arsenal Experiments between the years of 1948 and 1975, the United States Army conducted a secret set of human experiments that tested the effects of chemical warfare agents. Over 7,000 soldiers were tested on and exposed to various different chemicals. These chemicals were low doses and therefore didn't cause any immediate harmful side effects, but they did take a toll on the soldiers' mental states. 
A large amount of these soldiers were not given informed consent forms, meaning they did not know exactly what they were taking part in. On top of this, little to no care was offered after the experiments, which means that any long-term effects were not treated by the same people who caused them. The experiments were eventually terminated in the mid-1970s and the people who ran the experiments were scrutinized, and many of them were sued for essentially using these soldiers as guinea pigs. The fact that the experiment was also kept a secret raised public concern that the US Army were conducting more controversial experiments in complete secrecy. Number 5. The Aversion Project Between the years of 1948 and the early 1990s, South Africa were undergoing the apartheid area, which was a period of time that implemented and encouraged racial segregation in the country. Homosexuality was also restricted during these years, and the members of the South African army were prohibited from being homosexual. In order to quote-unquote cure these soldiers' sexualities, Dr. Aubrey Levin led a medical torture program that involved shock therapy. When these treatments failed, Levin and his staff decided upon an alternative, which consisted of these patients undergoing sex change operations and being given new identities. Over 900 homosexual males were surgically turned into women, given new birth certificates, and advised to drop all contact with their families. Many of these men died during surgery because of the lack of preparation, and no follow-up care was provided to the soldiers. The toll that it took on these soldiers both mentally and physically led many of the original patients to suicide, and the entire project was not only a complete failure, but also a cruel torturous medical experiment that was one of the many disturbing reminders of the atrocities committed during the apartheid era. Number 6. Unit 731 during the Second Sino-Japanese War which occurred around the same time as World War II, Japan created a chemical warfare and biological research unit known as Unit 731 that focused on extreme human experimentation. These experiments included freezing victims' limbs in order to test frostbite, infecting patients with syphilis, and even forced pregnancy. On top of the atrocious scientific experiments that were conducted at Unit 731, weapon testing was also done at the site. Grenades, flamethrowers, and chemical weapons were used on prisoners on a consistent basis. Biological weapons were also tested here, and a bomb that was used to spread bubonic plague was developed at the site. The result of these experiments now meant that Japanese soldiers could use them against China. They dropped infected clothes, food supplies, and more for unsuspecting Chinese citizens, and it's estimated that anywhere between 200,000 to 580,000 people may have died from these attacks. Unit 731 has been described as one of the worst set of human experiments in history, and one of the most morally corrupt scientific facilities of all time. Number 7. The Stanford Prison Experiment in 1971, psychology professor Philip Zimbardo set up a prison experiment at Stanford University. He used various different college students and created a makeshift prison where one group of students were the guards and one group of students were the prisoners. The point of the experiment was to see how the students would react and within one day, the experiment had gone off the rails. The guards started to act aggressively and the prisoners were subjected to psychological and physical abuse that bordered on torture. This included putting prisoners in small dark rooms, waking them up in the middle of the night to perform chores, and refusing to let them leave when they asked. Both sets of students had fallen into their roles at an incredibly quick pace, and they truly felt like they were in a prison. This was surprising as all 24 students had passed tests to prove that they were indeed psychologically stable and healthy, but once they got into the makeshift prison, this completely changed. After the experiment was over, Philip Zimbardo's morals and ethics were brought into question as many people believed that the experiment should have been stopped. He himself was too invested in the experiment, and it was actually his girlfriend at the time that had to put a stop to the test. Either way, it's become one of the most popular and studied psychological experiments in recent history because of its intriguing results. And that's it for this video. Thanks a million for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll leave a link down below to the sources, footage used, and music used. I'll also leave a link down below to all of my social medias, which are to Burke 321 But like I said, that's all for now. As always, until next time.